Over the last month, you would have seen me do a couple of the most epic podcasts ever with none other than Andrew and Tristan Tate. Join me on this vlog to spend 24 hours in Romania with the Tates. We're going to take you through a behind the scenes of everything that happened and give you some exclusive content which you've never seen before. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so we are in Romania. We are doing a podcast with Andrew Tate tomorrow. We came here the night before to set up, thanks to Josh and Dan. They're from Blood Brother Media and they also work with big, big people such as DAZN. They do the whole production side of things and also we've got Riz and Falak here and they do production for weatherism as well. So if you've seen the production of that, then you know it's 10 We got them on board. I thought, you know, we've got a podcast like this, we can't let the opportunity be missed. Got a villa which will show you in daytime. Now we're gonna go get some food because we're just hungry as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> They're starving me out. Yeah. It's two in the morning. We've been at it all night trying to get the right set design for this podcast. We're unsure whether to black out the windows, whether to keep it like this, but on camera it looks 10-10 right now, but we won't be able to know until morning. Tate's gonna be here at about 10 a.m. We've got eight hours worth of sleep, probably about seven, five, something like that. We're all shattered, but be done. Let's take it over to the producers and see what they have to say. If I can get this mic off. Okay, we start with words of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> the pass along. Yeah, no, absolutely incredible. I think by the whole team, obviously Raheem coming out here, putting this all together, it's uh, it's absolutely incredible. You know, as part of doing this sort of setup or podcasting, a lot of people don't realise there's always last minute crazy things that happen. You know, this is actually an incredible place, but there's always little challenges that people don't realize as uh, Raheem just said about lighting, about the set, uh, timing of course, and you know, I think the team is absolutely incredible in terms of uh, you know, putting things together and making things work. Uh, who are we passing on to next? Well, I'll, I'll pass the mic. <laughs> now look, I think we've done a great job setting it up. Like Raheem said, we won't know until the morning, but ultimately I think at this point we're all happy with how the set looks. I think it's gonna look great down the lens once it's been produced and we haven't got a release date yet, but yeah. Boys, obviously you guys have worked on many, many productions. With the place that we've got here right now, what are we saying? Yeah, it's a really good place. I Riz said it wasn't the first, first choice, but we've got to make it work. It's a nice building. The architecture is cool. Our main thing was trying to make the space or show how good the space looks because there's a lot of white walls and white walls are boring. So we've been playing around with some colour and angles and things like that. Josh will tell you about the main problem of lighting tomorrow because we're lighting this right now in, when it's dark outside. Hey, dude. Yeah, so basically at the minute we've got all the lights set up, but obviously in the morning the light's going to completely change. So we've got a couple hours to basically prep for tomorrow morning for Andrew arrives and Tristan. And yeah, man, we got some blinds. You brought them in a suitcase. See what we can do with that. Try and control the light a little bit, but we'll see, man. I think we're all pretty happy with it and we'll see how it turns out, 100%. I think final words of the night is what I want to say is this team right here, I think is testament to the fact that it goes to show you that as much as people want to say that podcasts are competition, you've got two greatest podcasts here coming together with the teams and creating actual magic. This wouldn't have been possible. If you lot think that this competition, stop thinking like that, that's toxic, work together, collaborate, and you'll see where you can go from here. You obviously have got a whole production team right now, do you know what I'm saying? Courtesy of Worst Tourism. <laughs> let me ask you, let me ask you some questions, yeah, for your vlog. Let me ask you some questions. It'll be good. Obviously, you've interviewed Andrew Tate before. Why did you go professional all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> when you have a guest such as this, like how, how does it feel? Do you get nervous? Uh, you know, what is the preparation like? And uh, you know, in the moment, how, how are you thinking of questions as well? Like, do you take what he says and then think of something else to go off? Yeah, yeah. So literally, the topics I have are just full on, as you, you would know as well, they're just topics. And the rest of it is all free flow until that topic may die out. And then, you know, you, you throw in the next question for the next topic and then you just keep going like that. But yeah, nervous, nerve wracking. Because you've got to look at it like this. He just obviously come off the back of George Janko's episode, which is probably one of the best episodes he's done. So shout out to George for that. But the issue is, I've got such a high standard to live up to now. And if I don't live up to that standard, I'm going to get grilled in the comments because this is oh, such a bad podcast. Da, 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 da. But it's pressure. It's pressure. What's this? No games. Are they in separate wooden yeah. chambers? Yeah. That's mad. Charlatans. <laughs> Wait, open it again. There isn't, there isn't, there isn't, there isn't. So, right now, these men have given me some Matrix Attack drink because my voice is khalas, probably worse from last night. Didn't help at all, but this apparently uh, works. It's spicy. Yeah. It's not too bad, man. Not too bad. I, don't, I can feel it. <laughs> you won't be, you won't be hilarious to see. Like, you know, hot ones. Yeah. Imagine you did hot ones to tape. That would be the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Well, we've got less than two hours now, yeah? We have got, it's, yeah, we've got less than two hours uh, yeah. for my wish to clear up, for us to clear up. So right now, obviously, it's daytime. 
<clears throat> we're rechecking all the camera angles and obviously all the lighting is completely different, so we're checking all of that stuff now. Wide angle looks good, that looks good. Looking good on the camera? Yeah. yeah. That looks clean, I can't lie, that looks hard. Let's give you a tour of the place quickly. Right guys, welcome to my crib, MTV style in Romania. Let's give you a quick drone shot. We're in a beautiful, beautiful villa. As we walk back, you'll see, but you can see over here, we've got tennis courts, that's quite sick. We've got a swim pool on that side over there. Over there, we obviously we've got front gated driveway, which is quite sick. There's a vending machine there. Oh, I don't even know why there's a vending machine. But apparently, if we want snacks and stuff, then we go there. So that's the house. That's the crib. You wouldn't believe me when I tell you how much it was. That's the interesting part about it. Have your guesses in the comments. I'll give you a full CEO cast pack. Jumper tracks you everything if you guess the right amount of money that it was. One thing I'd advise you content creators or you business owners who are doing the content thing, don't ever be scared to invest in yourself. Sometimes, obviously, you guys may know that I've got my own studio, but on occasions like this, you have to be willing to invest in yourself, invest in the villa, invest in the best places possible, travel around the world, invest in the whole team, production-wise, to make sure you get the best content possible. So that's a quick tip for you guys, never be afraid to invest in yourself. For the people who are scared to invest in themselves, just remember that the money's always gonna come back tenfold. So it's always the risk you put in versus the reward you get out. So basically, you need to just give me a little punch. A little punch? Yeah. What's going on, bro? They used to make like. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's not working. <laughs> nah, that's how you do uh, That's how podcasters get their vocal cords in. So, oh, yeah, so basically, right now, obviously, we're just getting the drone in the air because Tate should be arriving in an hour, but we obviously want to plan the drone shots, I'm assuming. Obviously, Josh is a bit crazy because man's wearing socks out in the cold. His feet are probably freezing right now. I don't know what he's doing with the with the drone and. <laughs> Can you explain this? Uh, whatever this is called. <laughs> what what that? Yeah, the, yeah the, it's all the circuit. It's calibrating it. Yeah. So I'm like spinning it around. Manual calibrate. calibration. Yeah. You know when you got to calibrate yourself instead of the drone. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't just your usual CEO cast where you have got the little trailer from podcast clips. This is doing a whole cinematic production, documentary style sort of thing. So we're getting obviously you know the whole scenario, the whole surroundings that we've got. Obviously, we want to get the villa on camera at this whole point where we booked it. So, this is just for the trailer. All these shots that we're doing right now, that these guys, Josh and Dan, are doing. I don't know where Dan is. Dan's doing the madness over there. But it's literally all just for the trailer and to make this the best production ever because we've got Big Tatey on. What did he say? So, we need to have set up the levels, you know what I'm saying? So, if anyone after us does the podcast with Tate, we've now set the standard. You see what I'm saying? That's it. CEO cast. No, it's a CEO. CEO. <laughs> So obviously last time it was just Andrew, but this time you're going to have Andrew and then you're going to have Tristan. Yep. So is there any sort of uh, difference there in terms of like first, is that the first time you'll be meeting Tristan? And if so, like, is there anything in particular you're going to, or an angle you're going to go with him, um, considering you haven't done an episode before? Well, <clears throat> here's the thing, this is quite interesting, yeah? I've heard rumours and theories that Tristan and Andrew are the same person because Andrew's coming to do the podcast, Andrew's going, and then Tristan's coming to do the podcast. And my theory is like, why would you not come together? You're both brothers, you travel everywhere, right? Obviously, we've seen Andrew many, many times online, many, many podcasts, but Tristan actually hasn't done that many. His story isn't told that much. And though people may say his story is very similar to Andrew's because obviously they grew up together, everyone has their own story. And uh, I think, you know, it's, it's good to give someone that light to explain their half. And the way I see them two, it's like they're the same person, but you look at it like Batman. You've got Andrew, who's Batman, and then you've got uh, Tristan, who's Bruce Wayne. You know what I'm saying? So it's two different personalities that people don't know. So how do we shed that to the world? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> Alfred's a good one as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say that to you, Tristan as well. Be like, yo, Bruce Wayne, yeah? Because obviously man's got the Lambos, man's got this and that, he's got the swag, the gentleman thing. But obviously Andrew's a straight savage, the one that comes out at night when they call him Tate in the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, a lot of people have done interviews with Andrew at this point, right? And there's so much content out there of him and Tristan. Like, what would you say, you know, you're going to bring differently to this interview? I guess you have to watch and subscribe for that podcast. That's what we like. That's it. Go do it now. Yeah, I'm okay. Surviving. Yeah, surviving. Yeah. Yeah. I want to do you. Yeah, yeah, it looks like you in May 2022 and then everything shit. So it's good. Yeah, and then uh, we went to, I don't know if you remember, we went to organise one in part two in Dubai. Yeah. And then uh, literally the day I landed, that's uh, obviously you were detained in Romania, so it's been crazy, man. It's been a crazy ride, but you're not doing it in your home country. It's, yeah, it's a man. That's it. Yeah, you see that. You see you too, bro. You see you too. Right. Nice to meet you. Hey, hey. So, man, nice to meet you, bro. You good? Good? Grab my phones from the car, please. Coffee? Yeah, 
place. It's, it's, like, it's a fit farm in the city. It's cool. It's a cool there, right? How cold is it for you? Uh, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. Where'd you go? From Facebook Trust. It looks like a little drop to see some flat street place. Trust? Yeah. Cool, so we are here right now, as you can see from the man on my left, the one and only Andrew Tate. Any words from yourself? Uh, I'm looking forward to this, it's going to be fun, it's been a long time. Yeah, it has been indeed. So, uh, we'll should... see if I have anything new to say, huh? Yeah. I, have to I have to decide before every podcast on a scale of 1 to 10 how crazy I want to be. Well, you just asked for 10 coffees, so I'm pretty sure you're going to go top level crazy. Well, I'll, I'll do my best, we'll yeah, see. First one. Thanks, bro. Thanks. <laughs> there we go, first one right there. <laughs> Before we get started, Andrew, yeah. the team have a few things for you. Oh, amazing. Yeah. There's a bit of that space we can get anything personalized. Let's see. But obviously, cigars had to be done. Beautiful. Our good friend uh, Usman Noe, who wish he could be here today, got you this case as well. Beautiful. And it's then, like Christmas. It's like, yeah, literally oh, like Christmas, yeah. And it gets a little bit cold here, so we got you a, a hoodie from our brand called Chartered. Beautiful. Well, this is a limited edition. Is it that one or is it? It's like an anniversary. Yeah, it's like an anniversary edition for cigars. I might have to smoke one during the podcast. You can. Are we allowed to smoke on YouTube nowadays? We don't, don't care. Know. We don't care. It's all right. You can do as we like. Beautiful. Thank you very, very much. No Thank you. No worries. It's like, I heard you like candy. American candy. <laughs> Two bags. They're going to get my physique, huh? Yeah. yeah. My whole suitcase was taken by you. Beautiful. These are all yours. Amazing. Thank, Thank you very much. And then the last one. The, the Muslims were referred to as Saracens back in the day. Okay. And uh, so we got obviously a shisha for you. Perfect. Um, I won't, uh, just because uh, the paint's are coming on, so okay. I'll make your, your hands no, back. No problem. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much, bro. Thank you. Sweet, yes. Got it's Eve, it's Christmas, it's everything. Yeah, it's right. all in one, yeah. One, yeah. All in one. It's all in one. Yeah, there's your Eid presents right there. Do I want a cigar? Maybe. I might have one. I run my mouth though, we'll see. There is, in, in that box, there are the cigar holders. Everyone knows I love candy now, secret's out. I don't, <laughs> I don't buy candy ever because I love it too much. I can't have it in the house. Everyone's but now everyone gives it to me. Yeah, that's it. It's like, ah, I didn't, bro, have you got a light? Because we have one. Yeah, I got a light. Yeah, that's right. Oh, oh sick. Try to put it in the Perfect. Perfect. Oh my god. It has been indeed. I like I the t-shirt. Well, thank you, man. It's good much. I'm going to give you one after. <laughs> Perfect. I want to start off with the podcast with this. Since the last time we spoke, I have to thank you because not only have you changed my mindset and my perspective on life. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you all in the next one. Peace. Well, nice. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't get banned. We'll see. That was yeah. a solid one. Yeah. What two SF knives? What spider? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fast. 765 and SF90 are the are crazy fast. 765 That's mine, yeah? Yes, sir. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Yeah, I've got four 765s and I've got three three SF90s. Okay. Uh, Thanks for the fun out of it. It's annoying. Uh, Nice to meet you, Ali. Nice to meet you, Ali. And it's all you, Kaufman, both, Yusuf. You can't have you. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Ali. 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 Thank you, Ali.
Really? Who made that? <laughs> <laughs> no, who made that? You start buying them off the rack and you get a little bit of money and yeah, you go yeah. to like the local tape or something yeah, to make yeah. something okay, but then you get custom made. Yeah, they're, they're, they're another sort of game. Yeah, yeah. You go up and up and up. And mm -hmm. you know, I went to a shop in um, one of my clients, he went to Oswald Botang. Yeah. He does like suits in London, and I didn't realize you could spend 30k on a suit. It blew my mind. I was like, what the hell? He just went in there, bought three suits like 70k, and came out. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Dean Forbes. It was just so mad. My, my suit collection is now up to 500,000. You've got to talk about that. that that's mad. Yeah. That is mad. This, this plain black suit is $12,000. Mad. Plain black. But it's the, it's the hours that go into it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The whole the whole yeah. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, I've seen, I've seen a few episodes of your podcast. It's all about business. Making yeah. money, the yeah. entrepreneurial yeah. mindset. Yeah. 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 People never ask me about that, actually. It's quite unique. Yeah. Everyone asks me about every other aspect of it besides this. Yeah. So, yeah, no, oh, we're going to go in. We're going to go in into it. Right. Tristan, before we get started, yeah. do you have a gift for you? Oh, you, know, you guys are right. too kind. Obviously, hopefully, they're to your liking. They are very, very good. And then, uh, it's it's only like my man, Cole Charlotte, we can get them. Hmm? No, it's all good. These, these are. These are very, very good. This probably set you back a little bit as well. I'm not going to say. I'm not going to guess how much. But <laughs> I, know, I know. I know. they weren't cheap. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Jeff. My pleasure. Yeah. And then this is a buddy from uh, our brand. Cool. I'm not going to. Uh, I'll get some pictures. Now. I'm not getting changed right now. But I'll, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll do exclusive. Hoodies are used to training, so I'll, I'll get some training. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just wanted yeah. to yeah. chill it out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I I was training at least. Mixed training twice as hard. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It was literally gone. I like difficult questions, so anything you can go off. Interesting. If you need a real fucking coffee, if you talk, just give me a seat. I'm grabbing it. Yeah, we'll do it. Thank you. You're definitely you and Andrew influence the society to wanting to smoke cigars, though. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Which is interesting. Here you go. Turn on these. <laughs> Here we go. It's about $350 per cigar. No way. Oh, the Lord. Oh, you, you think that's bad? Oh, yeah, no, wait a second. Bro, no, no, it's fine. It's cool. It's cool. Well, you think that's bad? The lighter costs more than the wash. It's a $55,000 cigarette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, what makes it? Uh, it's made out of white gold, and the watch company Tissot, which are not known for obviously the best watches in the world, make the mechanism. So in between these little, you uh, see all the little red dots on either side of the roulette wheel. Those, yeah, yeah, those yeah. are all rubies. Oh, there. Yeah, and, yeah. It's, and, and it works. If you lay it flat on the table and press the side, it's got a whole. Yeah. The, the watch mechanism actually spins. It's just out here. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And it's got this really cool feature where if you flick it, the flame comes out and you can light your cigar. Worth every single penny. That's quite sick. Yeah. It's, my yeah, second, it's my second most expensive one. Sick. So what's your most expensive one? Exactly the same one in yellow. And that's 73. What's the, like, the payout system on Rumble like though? No, no. Oh. no, it's good. I just don't. Yeah. Don't want to brag too much. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. That's not like whatever Rumble, like, I don't. I don't it's a big cigar one. It's light on me. Quite on set. Take away from you. Tristan Day, thank you very much for coming on the CEO. Glad to be here. It was a pleasure speaking to your brother and it's a pleasure to meet you today. I'm going to start off the podcast like this. That was, that was great. Lots of stuff I haven't said anywhere else. Yeah, very, very good. I like the little cell screen. That was just off the top of my head as well. Yeah, that was off the top of my head. Put me on the spot. <laughs> yeah, Jeez, I haven't made a sales pitch in nine years. Can, <laughs> can we get a photo of you both now as well? Yeah, just a yeah. thumbnail. Tristan, have you ever watched Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Yeah. You just did ask the audience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we don't uh, no, no phone a friend? Yeah, no phone a friend. No. No. Yeah. So obviously, right now, we've just finished the podcast with Tristan Tate, as you can see right here. I don't know how this makes any sense, but her voice is worse now than in the end. <laughs> in the beginning of the podcast. So we just smoked a $350 cigar from Tristan Tate himself, lit it with 55 grand light. And as you can see, this is what it does to my voice. I don't know if I'm gonna do that again, I'll be real, but good experience. Sick, sick episode, sick, sick, sick day. Imagine you were one of the people on The X Factor who went super viral with an amazing audition, right? Then you lose, like halfway through, your recording contract never kicks off. So there are people like this, um, I can't remember their names. There's loads of them anyway. And everyone, there, they've seen that video with 100 million views and their awesome audition, their music career's failed, they've got no money, they're flying on the same flights as, as you guys. You'll see them on Ryan here. People bother them, people want pictures, people talk to them, people... But they're also broke. That would exactly. suck. Yeah. 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 Yeah
They can't do fame, that. Fame without money must fucking suck. I can't imagine. It's fine because I'm rich. But if I was broke, it would suck. Yeah, it would be the worst. Any last thoughts? What are you feeling right now? How are you feeling? Well, let's, let's, let's ask the boys. Because um, I can't talk. Let's get in. <laughs> You know what I mean? He held it down though. Yeah, he held it down. Right you, mate. Well. So that was incredible. In the, halfway through this Tristan one, I can't lie, my energy A depleted and B, I couldn't even really? talk. That's why I, I was trying to speak. Yeah. Bro, you know what? It's I was quite... Josh, because you probably heard it properly, but I was squeaking in my words. I couldn't That's even right, speak. Yeah. I was like, You can tell that. Yeah, yeah. You got no, to no, the no, end of no, it. No, you just got but to the end of This is the sacrifice. The dedication. You got the right. This is why CEO Cast is what it is. This is why CEO Cast is the best CEO podcast this in the world. Is, yeah, why Riz is the best trading podcast <laughs> in the world. <laughs> <laughs> the levels, man, the levels. That cigar, we're going to sell it on eBay. We're going to raffle it off on eBay. That was Tate's, yeah. That one, that one was Tristan, sorry. That was Tristan's one, that's it, in his coffee as well, so we got two in one. Just cling film that up. And then there's... Tate's one was over there, but someone's taken it. Which one of you bastards? <laughs> Which one, which one of you guys are taking that? Huh? No, but um, what an incredible day. What an incredible day. You know, it was a long day just watching, right? And observing, let alone obviously what Raheem's gone through. You know, I've gone through similar before, obviously on my podcast, but not with this level of guest. So like this level of guest, we're feeling a bit under the weather as well. Uh, the last minute nature of everything, you know, it takes a lot out of you. And that's why you can hear from uh, Raheem's voice, obviously he's held out to the end. And, um, you know, incredible episodes, incredible questions. Raheem is incredible at what he does. And, uh, yeah, you guys said, well, have already supported him so much, but support him even more going forward because he's doing incredible things. And it's very rare to find genuine people in this space, uh, which is hard to know when you're not involved in the space. But Raheem is one of those ingen genuine people. Like, we met three days ago, four days ago. Right? That's how, and I'm here with my team because we just connected. And, you know, that's the sort of speaks volumes of the person that Raheem is. And again, it's very rare in this industry to find that. Um, so when you have a genuine person trying to provide so much value to you, tell you other people's stories, tips and tricks and hacks, if you will, and, and the genuine nature of what it takes to be successful and to build yourself up, take note and support that person. So make sure you're supporting CEO Cast um, because the levels are only going to continue to rise. Ah, well, you, sir. Who's, whose mouth was that in there? What? Uh, <laughs>